in this video i'm going to show you how to create a valentine's dinner flyer in photoshop and this is coming up hey everybody it's innocent here welcome to the channel if you're new here please hit on the subscribe button if you're old here thank you so much for showing up so here are the resources that we'll be using in this video just pictures that i got from the internet and i'll leave a link to download them in the description feel free to use it send me your template on instagram and let's get interacted now let's head over to photoshop and let's get started so here in the world of photoshop you're going to create this on an a5 paper but you can go for a3 a4 or if you're doing this for social media you can as well choose the 4x4 so let's create a new document i'm using photoshop cs6 but this should work with any of the versions of photoshop so i'll go to file and create a new document and this pop-up right here i'm going to international paper or the preset and i'm going to select a5 for this one i want this to be very simple and very cute so i'll go ahead and i'll click ok for the paper size to be created so the first thing that we want to do is we want to import in some of the images or the images that we're going to use so i'll go to my resource here and i got four of these ones for you so you can use any one of them so i'm going to use the very first one i'll drag and drop it inside of photoshop this is going to be a very simple one as much is not really involved so once i bring it over here i'll use the transformation controls and i can open it up a little bit like that and i can send it to the very top part of the design over here or the document if you prefer to call it that one so i can press ctrl t again and i can open it up a little bit more so that it can fill the entire document now what i'm going to do is i'm going to right click and i'm going to rasterize it and i'm rasterizing because we want to apply external effects on this one so right from here i can go ahead and add a bit of levels curves or adjustment if you want to call it that way onto this particular image right over here so i can press on ctrl l and then i can add a bit of levels so slight one like that and i can go ahead and click ok now once we have this image here we can derive the background color from this same background so i can go to the background over here and i'll add a solid color to do that all i need to do is head over to the layer adjustment panel over here click on it and then you can select the solid color from this side now what you're going to do is you're going to choose a color from this image that is going to complement the design so what i did over here is i decided to go with something from the flowers over there and at the end of the day i came by with this particular color over here so i'm going to give you the code this is the code and then i'll go ahead and i'll click ok from here now from this point what we need to do is we need to blend in the image with that of the background because you realize that it is so solid so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a layer mask and to do that you just head over to the bottom here add layer mask and then you're going to choose your brush to be for the brush tool now what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that your foreground color is black and then you have your hardness when you right click to zero percent after that you can just go ahead and brush this one off a little bit so that it fades into the color so that it sort of blend you don't see any hard edge around it so it blends perfectly with the background now we can go ahead and open the image here a little bit more so something like this and we drag it a little bit down I feel like it is so small and the next thing that we want to do is we want to come back to the background that we just set head over to our resource and we want to bring in one of these images so we want to use it as a background or something like a transparent thing so i'll drag and drop it inside of photoshop so i'll drag it in here and then i'm going to open it up to fill the entire section so you realize that we have some candles in there that is going to light up our design so what we do next is we're going to right click on this one and rasterize the layer you press ctrl shift and then u and then it is going to turn it total black and white you head over to the blending mode over here and you're going to set this to soft light so you realize that it gives us this really really cool 
sort of background that blends in if it feels like it is too much for you you can just go ahead and reduce the opacity by using the opacity section over here now right up from here all the rest will be test and some few shapes so we can group this one and probably call it our background all right so let's go ahead and start adding the test and the first one that we're going to add is the valentine so celebrate valentine so i'm going to pick my test tool over here and i'm going to launch a test the font that i'll be using today is called big day for the valentine so i'm going to type in here celebrate okay now once i'm done with this one i'm going to select all of it and i'll head over to the color picker here now what i did also is i tried to get a color from this particular image so that it blends so perfectly with the background so i got something like this one so you can go somewhere around here i think this looks good for me and i'm going to click ok so what i do next is i press ctrl t and i'm going to transform this one to be a little bit smaller like that i press ctrl a and i'm going to center it over here now what i do next is i press ctrl j to make a duplicate and i'll drag it to the very bottom i'm going to select all of it and i'm going to type in my valentine well i think it actually has to be celebrate valentine or is it valentine's let me know in the comment section the english scholars over there so i'll press ctrl t and i'm going to transform this one up to be a little bit very big because that is the center of attraction now from here i can go back to my celebrate and i can select all of it let's try to use something more whitish so that it doesn't really look that very creamy over there so from here the next thing that i want to do is i want to add a rectangle so i'll go for the rectangle to from the rectangle or from the shapes toolbox and i'm going to create a rectangle over here we're creating a very simple design now what i do is i'm going to press ctrl a and make sure that it is centered as well and i can drop it down a little bit like that now let me push this one up here a little bit double click on the layer thumbnail and i'm going to change the color to white what i do next is i'll press ctrl t and transform it something very small like that so inside this rectangle what we're going to do is we're going to put in a test so you go for the test tool and then you can start typing your test but this time we're not going to use big day we're going to use our friend poppins if you've been around for a while you know poppins is very popular over here now the very big question of the day is do you have the special someone that you're going to celebrate this valentine's wait let me know in the comment section so we're going to select all of these and we're going to scale the font down or perhaps you can just press ctrl t to save yourself some time and then you can scale it down something like this now let me zoom back in and then i can double click on this one i'll press ctrl a to make sure that i select all the test and I'll make sure that it is centered now i'm going to back to select all of it and i'm going to choose the wine color again because i want to send it to the rectangle which is already white so i'm going to send it over here press ctrl t and i'm going to transform it a little bit like that so right from there we're going to make another duplicate by pressing ctrl j and we can drag this down let me zoom out a little bit so that you know exactly where i am now i'm going to select all of these one and i'm going to change the color back to white and we can select all of this one and type in here a romantic date okay so the the dinner is a romantic dinner something of that sort now one thing that you can do is you can maintain this same font which looks perfect and fine on the flyer or you can go for this font that is called eth let me know in the comment section which one looks very better for you so you can go for this one or maintain the poppins font which is absolutely also very very nice now the next thing that we want to do is we want to create the location so what i'm going to do is i'm going back for my rectangle tool and i'm going to create another rectangle so something like that the location has to be a little bit bigger so i'm going to select all of that make sure that it is centered 
and i can go to the fill over here and turn that to zero percent now let's press ctrl t to make sure that this is also a little bit smaller like that so something right over there now right click and go to the blending options we want to create some or add some effect to this so the first thing that we want to do is stroke it a little bit and we're going to increase the size now it is black that's why you're not seeing it so come to the color section over here and pick up a color that is quite brightening like this one for instance and you can go ahead and copy the same code over here so you copy that same code hit on ok go to the outer glow and go to the color section over here so select the color for the glow and you can paste it over here and click ok now what you're going to do is you're going to increase the size a little bit bigger like that and you can go ahead and click ok when you're done now once this is done let me just press ctrl t to transform it a little bit smaller what we're going to do next is we're going to copy the dinner the romantic dinner over here send it on top of the rectangle drag it over here you can press ctrl t to make it smaller and then we can go ahead and edit this to the venue so add and you give it your venue now i'm going to press ctrl t and i'm going to transform it to be right in the middle of the rectangle that we created and then we can go ahead and make one last duplicate ctrl j bring it over here and then you add for any info you call this number and i'm going to actually add my number this is not an actual program now with this we're going to select it or go to the toggle character over here and we can open this tracking a little bit so that it is, there is more space between the test and then you can press ctrl t and you transform it to be a little bit smaller like that right over there and you press ctrl a and you make sure that it is centered so the last thing that we're going to add will be the date so we're going to make a duplicate of the romantic dinner here send it on top of the design and then we're going to place it right on top here so i'm going to select all of this one and type in 14th february okay so i'm going to change my alignment to test align to the left and i'm going to open my leading right over here select my february and i'm going to increase the size a little bit like that and open the leading some more and i'm going to select all of these ones and change this to medium right over here or perhaps let me go for semi bold now what i'm going to do is i'm going to place it to the very top right over here so that it is very noticeable and can be very seen with anybody now the last thing that i do is i'll go back to my original image right over here i'm going to add some bit of more levels to it so ctrl l and i can make it a little bit more darker so that it blends with the background over here and yeah that'll be pretty much it for this video the rest of the things is going to apply your own sort of creativity and you can actually make the outline here there a bit brighter than the background so that it doesn't really blend with the background but aside that any other thing that you want to do with this one will be out of your own creativity i'd love to see your design send it to me on instagram i'll be very happy to look at it and then we can discuss further on also don't forget to check out the other valentine's flyer that i created some years ago i'll leave links in the description if you want to check them out thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video it's innocent here and bye